MJ, hey, mind if I toss a kind of thorny ethical question at you? When is it okay to give up on a friend? Oh, wow, Pete. Thinking of Otto? That obvious, huh? Yeah, understandable, though. Man, the high-minded, generous part of me wants to say never. Being a true friend means being there, even when people lose their way. But with what Otto's done, I just don't know, Pete. I guess you have to decide if the Otto Octavius you knew was still in there or not. Maybe if he was ever even in there at all. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, MJ. I gotta process some stuff, I think. Call me anytime, Pete. I'm here for you. Attention all units. Witness just reported a kidnapping. Officers, please converge on Longacre. on the job. Come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the chief was warming up to Spider Cop. His casual disregard for by-the-book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around. Someday. I forgot to ask why they call it kidnapping if the victim's not a kid. This is Sable Control. Need an update from Devil's- Okay. I need to get after Scorpion, but I haven't seen Aunt May face to face since the fire. Think I can afford a quick pit stop at Feast. Over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the Relief Center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. 
give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. Quiet, quiet. So much for a milk run. How did a bunch of convicts even do this? Looks like an exploding bulldozer went through here. I can't turn back. Beast needs those antibiotics. You hear the sound his head made when the big guy hit him? It's like a bug on a windshield. Splat. All because he made one stupid crack about the guy's suit. Need to distract him. Hacking apps should work. He's got, got a few seconds. Should be able to hug that wall. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. You see the way he came through here? The guy's like an animal. Guys, but they're dying. But no antibiotics. I need to keep looking. You two, get over here. All right, all right, already. Right. and schedules for your supply lines. More supplies over there. Need to get past these guys. I hate watching pets in real life. Just give us the info and we'll stop. Don't have clearance for that. That's not what Benson wants to hear. Why are the super nerds so set on taking out these reliefs? Something about Osborne. He is, that he can't protect the city. Sounds like a lot of drama. As long as they let us keep all the supplies we find, I don't care. Yeah, man. Keep digging through it. Nothing will get us. Supply tent. Oh, crossing fingers. A couple trauma kits, but no antibiotics. Gotta be somewhere. Looks like they're gonna divvy up the supplies. Gotta avoid that sniper. Exploding bulldozer. Supply routes and schedules. Now! Yes, Kazal! Gentlemen, I apologize. My associate is inelegant. He doesn't understand the fine art of persuasion. Stop! <laughs> Not need to see that. What was that? Check it. Now. Don't think he saw me. Time to get out of here. Having fun with lights now? I will have fun! 
I'll try another way. Let me know I have these. Get off me! Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Help! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha. <laughs> Kids right. got guts. Hip squared. The hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Whoa. You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. I gotta work on my fight banner. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. 
If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. Now, reports are coming in that Martin Lee, along with exhibiting freakish abilities like those of you-know-who, has lately seemed to display almost a split personality. <laughs> this is hogwash and a clear attempt to evade justice for his crimes. Only a fool would believe that he's Mr. Positive one moment, helping the poor with a smile, then suddenly he's Mr. Negative, blowing up, wait a minute, Mr. Negative. That's gold, Jared. Gold. Trademark it. Snap. <laughs> as I was saying, folks, Martin Lee's evil side, or as everyone is now calling him, Mr. Negative, has been revealed as the culprit for the City Hall bomb. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, folk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team? I thought you were a loner. Yeah. Yeah. All of them for these particular means. Freedom! True freedom! No more you! No more rhino!
Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorch, love you, but you do know it's going to cut in, right? What were you going to do if I didn't smoke? <laughs> Beg him to give up? Yes, Garkus, that is exactly what I would have Ah, like an old married couple, you two! Getting his super move. What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? But Gargan has no principle. He fights for profit. I'd rip Violet's face off for free.
Now's my chance. Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you freak show! might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sable's men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. before they kill someone. Hey, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. He'll never survive this. Next election, he'll get destroyed. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency here. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. Oh, everything.
every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. You can't treat us like animals. I get sick. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Get out here right now. Security just room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished Off their sweep. ma'am. Need to go around. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this for your safety. More like Osborne's safety. Because you run a cops are incompetent. Alarms every other minute. They're Hello. I know a few Man, Sable agents who would love to meet you. I, I swear, I swear your way out of here. We're in charge. Okay, okay, I'm gone. I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. The hell was that? Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Running a sweep. We'll report status. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Useless button. <sighs> Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. What is this thing? This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. The fabulous Osborne boy. Norman bids his son farewell. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I 
might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Work order for key padlock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? The city's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. What a hero. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drink. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Norman and Otto. Wow, they look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board, and he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Happy birthday, dear. Sorry I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... <clears throat> I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail Harry. I'm keeping his room. Exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't 
say this enough, but thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Norman said the key is with M. I wonder if he meant that literally. be so carefree. I miss those days. <sighs> Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms, and a motto, Pax in Bello, Peace in War. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but you might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Can't be for Harry, can it? Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney, like his mom. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum's ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. 
I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Norman Osborne, GR-27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. I have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease? It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. <sighs> Kinda makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. I had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I... We'll be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. What if 
They started all of this. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Clear that balcony. Might have something, Control. Stand by. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. Mm -hmm. 